Getting ready for something? Good. You're finally here. You mentioned something big is about to happen in Achaea. I've heard that the Tempest chief engineer is developing a new weapon. Natakas and I saw her try the weapon at the docks. It's not working yet, but it will be a problem when it does. He's trying to flee Achaea. If he does want to escape, maybe we can convince him to help us defeat the Tempest. He's attending the shipbuilding symposium at the amphitheater here in Achaea. I can head over to the amphitheater now. There seems to be a discussion about a plan, a secret weapon for the Tempest. The chief engineer should have more information about it. Sounds easy enough. The answer to the code word, I am Poseidon's chosen. <laughs> sure. The chief engineer is amongst the attendees. Seek him out. That blade means a lot to you. Where does it come from? I forged it myself. But it's more than a blade to me. It's a choice. It takes skill to get so close to a target. <laughs> That's the point. What do you know about the Tempest? She must have been planted by Amorgus. I'm not familiar with the Tempest, but I wouldn't put anything past Amorgus. He's only ever had one thing on his mind. Lasting prosperity for Persia. No matter the price. What convinced you to help the stranded people, Darius? Uh, Natakas's heart is in the right place, and I want to encourage that. But the moment we're done, we're leaving the Greek world for good. I'll head to the amphitheater now and find the chief engineer. The chief engineer is here, but I don't know exactly should be easy. The code word is, I am Poseidon's chosen. This looks like the place Darius mentioned. I am Poseidon's chosen. Right. And I'm Ira's harlot. What? What do you mean, what? Go away. I'm trying to pay attention here. Poseidon's... Idiot. What? You're not his chosen, you're his idiot. I could hear you from here, pestering people. Who told you about me? A friend of mine has been asking around about you. We heard you want to flee Achaea, and we can help with that. Ah, such freely offered help often comes with a hidden cost. Not this time, I promise. Well, if the Tempest had sent you, I'd be dead by now. I need a way to defeat her. Like this weapon I've heard about. The Chimera's breath. My greatest creation, but also my greatest regret. I left before they could force me to complete it. Without my finishing touches, it will never work as intended more about this secret weapon. What does it do? 
It's meant to engulf enemy ships in a torrent of flames. And it works extremely well. Installation is the tricky part, though. If done incorrectly, it backfires. Horribly. You worked with the Tempest. What can you tell me about her? She's a ruthless, emotionless creature. But the scariest part about her is her strategic brilliance. You'd be hard-pressed to find a more perfect commander. You said you want out over here. Do you have a plan? The only way out is through the Tempest. Trust me, I've exhausted every other option I can think of. That's my wife up there. And now I've put her life at risk, too. You're taking a big risk by sharing your secrets with me. No. I'm betting on you to destroy the Tempest for me. Get your hands on the plans, and I can install the Himera's breath on your ship. With it, you can destroy her entire fleet. I must do something to right this wrong. If the Himera's breath is as powerful as you say it is, it would be helpful. Once I'm done with your ship, it will crush the Skilla. So, how do I get the plans? The Tempest's fleet commander has them. He's manning the naval blockade. While you're gone, I'll get to work. The plans are written in a code that only I can read. So even when we have them, it'll take some time. I'll meet you back here when I'm done. Good. I was wondering how we could clear the blockade. I'll take care of... found the engineer. Look, boys! First the runaway engineer, and now the eagle bearer. Aren't we lucky? <laughs> Lucky isn't the word I'd use. Oh, look who decided to show up just in time. Kill them! Kill them both! Yeah! <laughs> 
The Tempest is more shrewd and careful than we expected. We should warn the others. They might be in danger too. I'll have Arnavas take a look at the plans. In any case, we shouldn't linger here. Back to the shadows then. I should find Atakas. I saw you talking to my husband. I can help. The engineer's wife. What do you know about the weapon plans? My husband scattered code books around the hair. Some are amongst the Tempest's fleet and others are in the shipyard. With them, you learn how to build and install the weapon. Then you can end the Tempest and avenge my husband. I'll end the Tempest with or without your husband's weapon. Either way, he'll be avenged. He would be happy to hear that. There are plenty of ships in Achaea. What should I look for? The Tempest ships patrolling the harbor will be a good place to start. You said some of the code books are in the shipyard. Where is it? The Patrai military shipyard is the one at the edge of the city. I'll find those code books. Something's over there. Oh. Oh. 
This must be one of the court books the engineer's wife mentioned. I can't understand any of this. But maybe Varnavas can't. That's what I'm looking for.
good. We're all here. We've done everything we set out to. Now, to get the stranded people out of Achea. The Tempest is on her way to install the Chimera's breath on the Skila. But we have the Chimera's breath now. The Tempest will never know what hit her. Without the Chimera's breath, she doesn't stand a chance. I am Poseidon's chosen, after all. What? We'll surprise the Tempest. Varnavas and I will launch a sea attack. Using the Chimera's breath to disable the Skila will be our best chance to get everyone off the coast. The merchant ships? The distraction should buy time for them to leave. Natakis and I will make sure everyone is on board the ships. This is our chance to leave Achaea. Darius is right, Natakas. You should be on those ships, both of you. They're your way out. What do you think, Natakas? It's our only chance. You have to take it. We will. We'll need somewhere to stay until then. Somewhere that won't raise suspicion. I know just the place. A house on the hill near the main. Let's go there now. Look at this place. It belonged to a friend of mine. He tried getting out of our hair, but he didn't make it. I need to prepare the others. See you too soon. There's something about this place. It's a beautiful place. Peaceful. I know. Too bad we won't stay. So, what's next? We'll probably keep running, as always. At least there's wine. At least there's wine. That's how I grew up. <laughs> Ooh, but seriously, your father is a very capable man. He is, but emotionally he is hard to open up. It's hard to make friends for people like us, living on the move as we do. Oh, we've met each other. To our friendship. To our friendship. <laughs> Malaka. Malaka. This reminds me of when we met in Macedonia. We ate boar beneath the stars. It was the first time in a long time that I felt home. I haven't felt that since. Until tonight. Then let's make the most of it. I should find Darius and the others. 
The stranded people are probably at the docks already. 